Hey there, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing a speed paint, speed draw of a water theme character designing. Now these character designs were originally for a world book for my comics class Final Pass. Now this world book is an encyclopedia that details everything about the world our comics would have taken place in. Now the stream will be doing it from start to finish, sketching until coloring the very last piece. You can see the original sketch in the background and this was done with watercolors and this was like the draft. This one we're doing right now is the digital ready for printing version so it's much more cleaned up. Uh, some of the elements are much more clearly detailed and it's better quality. So the theme for this as I mentioned is underwater. It's for an underwater city that's deep in the trenches. It's very much in tune with magic in a world where magic and technology are used together to make life easier. So our color palette is mostly violets, blues, uh, some green, and you know, some mysterious cool colors. Now I'd like to note, since this is the first video on my channel that's art related, my style is usually much more anime. Um, the lines aren't less defined, but for this, I went a bit more realistic. Uh, I defined the nose more, I defined the lower lip more, and even the proportions are a bit more realistic, I could say. For the outfit of these characters, I went with a swimming skin suit type of outfit. Uh, meant for diving, um, swimming deep in trenches, since that's how you get to their city. But to add little magical mystical aspect to it, I added this these translucent cloth that floats about them. So as you can see, we're going very very fast. But this was a 3 hour stream. 3 hour and 30 minutes actually. So this actually on a 1000 times speed enhancement and actually let me know if it's too fast because I wanted to condense everything into 10 minutes at least at most but I feel it's going a bit too fast but if I go only 800 times it would be around 10 to 20 minutes long and that might have bored people but let me know let me know. Let me know if it's if this is okay, if I should go slower. I don't think I can go any faster, mainly because you wouldn't see anything anymore. Or you wouldn't even manage to track where my cursor is. Right now, I can't even. But now we're lining. This is actually my favorite part in the process. I like lining my drawings, coloring not so much. Uh, I, I suck at color palettes actually. As you noticed, maybe by now, that I didn't add much line weight to it. This mainly because I'll be coloring in the lines later. The lines will match the color of the thing it's trying to depict. So for example, if I'm trying to depict a skin portion, it would match more or less the skin tone. You'll see that later. I actually really like this part. I really like drawing translucent-ish things, especially with watercolor. It works so well in watercolor that I do it so often. So at this point in the stream, I had to cut it either maybe for dinner or maybe it wasn't streaming properly. My internet is kind of bad, like everything else in the Philippines. <laughs> Like most internet connections in the Philippines, it is quite temperamental. But we'll be jumping back into the stream in a few minutes. A se seconds, I mean, in a few seconds. So, three, two, one, diving back in. So, we're working on the girl now. I really like how I did her hair. It's very voluminous. Volum 
it has a lot of volume and I don't draw hair like that usually. I draw hair for girls to be very straight and flat and kind of boring. So I really like how I did her hair, which I should do more often eventually. Noted. I kind of notice now that the hands are a bit small. Even the arm, the right arm, is a bit small. But I notice it. I've noticed it now. Huh. Do you think that I just drew this on May 1, 2016? Which was just a few months ago, depending on, depending on when you're watching this. It was just a few months ago. It's June 19 now. So, it's just a month ago, actually. <laughs> I got the Seaside City outfit since the beach city and the underwater city trade a lot. I feel like their color schemes and their materials would be very similar. Except the Seaside City was more vibrant and warm, while this underwater city has more cooler, darker tones to it. So it's mostly purples, greens, blues, and a bit of greenish gray. Unlike this unlike the seaside city that has like tans and vibrant blues in it. So as you can see I'm using the magic tool. You can use it in Photoshop as well. But I think Photoshop does it a bit better. Uh, size magic tool rounds it kinda rounds up the sharp edges so you have to go back and try to make things sharp basically. Let's say I make my lines as close as possible so I don't really have to go and paint it manually. I could just tap it with the paint bucket tool. So we're doing the eyes and the hair now. I really like this color combination. Uh, the hair is a bit like paints gray and the eyes is like a tealish color. So now we're adding color palettes for shadows and one thing I do notice and admit is that the shadows are very very light or they're too blended in too much with the base color. Even though I do go over them again with a darker tone, it still blends in too much. And I didn't even add highlights to the skin, which is something I do now since I changed my technique a bit since May 1. I really like coloring skin though. If only I added in the sh if only I made the shadows a bit deeper, that would have been perfect. On the clothes, same problem. I blended in the shadows too much, so it didn't define certain areas as much as I wanted to. Especially when I added in the highlights for the clothes, it made the shadows too light. But it should have been more defined to have a bit more contrast. Actually, I forgot to mention, I did say this was for a world book, and I'll link it down below so you can check it out, read up on it, and maybe even read my comic, and my groupmates' comics, my entire class's comics. Please support us, we are all budding creators who just want to get our stories out, and yeah, maybe it's something fun to read for you even. So we're nearing the end of the stream, so again, I hope you guys can tell me, would tell me if it's too fast or if you want to go even faster or if this speed is just right. And well, 
I hope you enjoy it to be honest. I, I really like doing my streams. I really like drawing. And I just want to share it over here on YouTube. So, I hope this was something fun to watch. Well, follow me on DeviantArt, follow me on Tumblr, and follow me on Instagram for more stuff drawings like this. So, thanks! See you around!